I am currently under the RV and I'm under the RV to show you what I'm going to be working on today. Um, the problem is when the slide goes in it kinks our gas line and it limits the flow to the stove and to the oven. When the slide comes back out, it doesn't unkink itself. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's the, the line. The gas line runs from the propane all the way up there. And it runs all the way back up here and here is the kink so when this slide comes in it slides in and it kinks this line and the problem is is when it when it pulls the slide back out it doesn't unkink or vice versa it unkinks when the slides in and then it pulls so tight that it kinks it when the slide goes out either way it's kinked and it won't unkink when the slide is out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a, an L connector here so that I can plug this line in this way to prevent this kink step one is you're gonna want to shut off your propane so you don't blow yourself up Or catch yourself on fire. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this line. Probably hear and smell a little gas coming out of there. That's just the residual that's left over in the line. Now, this kink must have been uh, kinked for a while because I got this thing off, and uh, you can see that it's still. It's still kinked pretty good there, even though I got that off. So I'm just going to take like a, a pair of pliers and just smash that down a little bit. Uh, just got to be really careful not to uh, puncture that line. Now I got my 3 8 elbow connector looks like this. And it's a male end on a male end. And the reason for that is because this line is right up against the roof of the, or the bottom of the RV. So you can't thread anything onto, onto here with a female end because there's nowhere to twist it so you see if I would have got a female end to go on to here I could I wouldn't be able to twist this to get it tight so what I had to do is I had to get a double male end and then I had to get a swivel adapter that's gonna go right here that's gonna allow me to tighten on this end and on this end of the L cadet connector to go this way without having to twist anything to and not being able to twist it on tight this way if that makes any sense to you I'll show you what it looks like after I get done here the other thing you're going to want to do is on all your mail ends right here, you're going to want to put on some the yellow Teflon tape. This stuff is specifically for gas lines. It's kind of like plumber's tape, but it's for gas lines, and you can get this at anywhere. Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace. Now I got my Teflon tape on all the mail ends of all of my fittings. It doesn't take much. Just one little wrap around the threads. Now I'm going to put my swivel adapter on. So that I can attach my elbow fitting. Next I'm going to attach my L connector to the swivel adapter and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Because I couldn't find an elbow that was 3 8 flared on both ends, see this, this end is not flared and this end is flared. Um, so I have to have a coupling. So a coupling will screw onto this end and make this other end the bottom end into a flared end also. Alright, now I got it all hooked up, let me show you. Everything is 3 8 here. So, you have your swivel adapter here, you have your L connector here, and you have your coupling here that hooks back to your line. Before, this line was connected directly to this pipe. So we didn't have this L connector here which is going to alleviate this kink a little bit. I think I need to smash that back out a little bit with, with some pliers. But And and this this uh, zip tie back here is, is holding it a little bit. I probably need to move that 
zip tie back a little bit because I am concerned about what this is going to look like once the slide goes in. This zip tie was up here, which uh, keeps tension on this as it's going in, which could kink it. So what I did was I moved that zip tie back here just to give that thing a little more freedom when that slide goes in, a little more slack uh, to try to alleviate any kind of potential kink that would be caused when that slide goes back in. It looks like everything's working well. Uh, we'll see what it looks like when the slide goes in. Not terrible, didn't kink anything or break anything, so that's that was the goal. Now I'm gonna turn my propane back on. I'm gonna come back under here and I'm gonna make sure that I don't have any leaks. I'm gonna sit down here and I'm gonna listen for a little bit. And I'm also gonna see if I can smell any propane coming through, what it could be any leaks. Another way to do it is to get you some, some soapy water and just rub it over all the, the threads here. And then if you see any bubbles coming from anywhere, you'll know that you have a leak in your line. But I don't hear anything right now. I don't smell anything. Um, we don't do a lot of how-to videos because I'm I don't really consider myself a handy dude. But this kind of stuff, if I can do it, you can probably do it. All these pieces together, the swivel adapter, the elbow connector, the coupling, and the Teflon tape all combined was about twenty dollars give or take um, it was between twenty and twenty one dollars at home depot you can get all these parts at home depot lowe's menards ace hardware anywhere you can buy plumbing supplies it's in the plumbing supplies aisle and less than twenty bucks and the other option is to take your whole rv in to get services done to put something like this on that can take you less than an hour to do yourself so hope this video helps some of you guys if you have some of the same problems if we did help you out let, let us know and we'll also be uh, sending this information over to our uh, our Keystone representative to let them know that this could be a potential fix that they could do on on their RVs in the future before they put them out onto the onto the lot but uh, we appreciate you watching and as always we were going to honor a fallen hero at the end of this video and we will see you next time.